Okay, adding um, movies and TV shows to your Kodi library is actually very simple once you get the hang of it. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to show you the naming convention that you need to uh, use when adding local content. So as you can see here, I've got some sample folders with some sample files in. Um, so if we look at the top one, movies, you'll see that I've got all the movies in there, um, loads and loads of little sample files, um, and they're all stuck in one main directory. Okay, now you can do it like that if you want. It can get very messy though, um, especially if you have a large library. Um, it can, uh, you know, it can be hard to uh, to find things and. Um, you know, a lot of people prefer to categorise them in subfolders, um, but you know, you can do it either way. So, um, and as far as the naming convention goes, you can see there, we've got. Uh, well, let's, let's choose an easier one. That one there. Twenty-eight days later, um, you've got full stops between the words. That is optional. You can, um, you know, you can have spaces if you want as well. And, and then we've got the year it was released in brackets and again that is optional um, the thing with having the year it can be a good thing and a bad thing um, when Cody scans online uh, sources like IMDB for that title if you've got the year it will obviously help it find the exact one because there, you know there can be multiple um, multiple movies with the same title um, so having the year really does help it narrow it down however if you have the year out by a, you know slightly out and it doesn't match what is on the website that you're scraping so for example IMDB then it will struggle to find that actual title it probably it, it just come up with that it can't find it um, so so yeah it's, it's got good points and bad points um, and it may be that you've got the right idea, it's just that IMDB have the wrong idea, uh, wrong year. So, uh, so that's worth bearing in mind. If we come out of there, if we go to um, Movies Extra Folders, you can see I've got a few sample ones there. I've started A and B, so one's beginning with A and then one's beginning with B. So you can do it like that if you want. Um, or you could have those in actual subfolders. So, for example, I mean, if we go to the TV show subfolders, that give you a good example of how to do that. So um, in here we've got The Walking Dead, and then we've got Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. Um, and then, you know, you, you can put your things in there. So if it was a movie, all we would do is, if we go in there, um, we would create a folder in there called where are we 28 days later and then we would copy that file into that folder um, so there's multiple ways you can do it there's no right or wrong way it's um, just down to your own preference and then there we've got the TV one list so that means basically as you can see there's 3796 test files in there um, and it's all thrown into one list a real mess if you ask me but um, but we use it for this example to show that you can do it like that if you prefer uh, if we go back to that subfolders one, the TV one, I just want to go through the naming convention of TV shows. So what you would do, ideally, is have it set up like this. Um, so you'd have a subfolder with the TV title, and then you would have the season subfolders. And um, you can name them however you want. So you can name them like this. Um, so that one, for example, would be 1x3 actually means season one episode three and season one episode four etc um, you don't have to have any name in there because it actually uses the um, that name there when it's scraping um, so long as you've got the season set up correctly or you can name them like this one season two episode one so that's s02 e01 etc or if you want to, you could have it like this. Um, so you can have the actual title. So for example there we've got The Walking Dead S03, uh, S03 E03 and then we've got the actual um, the title of the actual episode name which is 
walk with me. So many, many different ways you can do it. Um, and as I say, there's no right way or wrong way. All, the, all of these should work. For more information on the name conventions, make sure you go over to the wiki page, Cody wiki page, which is full of great information. So that is Cody.wiki. And once you're in here, go to the video library section and you'll see video management down here and at the top here preparing files we've got naming files um, and then you can obviously click on your movies TV shows or music videos depending on which one you want to see the naming convention for so if we click on movies there you go we've got a brilliant page full of stuff um, telling you exactly how to name it so, uh, so there's lots of uh, good features you can do in there uh, the wiki is a brilliant resource so I highly recommend um, using it but uh, if you have any questions or queries feel free to pop over to totalxbmc.tv and ask on the forum where we'll be more than happy to try and help out okay thank you very much for watching